Hi, I'm Charlene Clossy, star and producer of the new indie film No Postage Necessary, and you are watching my exclusive interview here on The Fan Carpet. Thanks for joining us. I think being a storyteller has always been in my blood. It's always been something that I've loved to do. I was on stage since I was literally a baby. So I like communicating with people through story. My first real career, I was a professional violinist and I, I had the opportunity to, to tour and play all over the world with some really amazing acts. And um, it was fantastic because I was a part of a really great story that each of these individuals were telling, but it always felt like there was something a little bit missing. And so I came back to my first love of really telling stories as, as a storyteller, as a narrator. And one of the reasons I, I love film so much is because I have that opportunity to connect with another person, other people on screen in a very real and organically intimate way because there is nothing in the space between the actor and myself and all it, you've just got a camera that's sitting there staring at you. And I think that's one of the reasons I'm so attracted to film itself is because of the intimacy and yet that still grounded organic experience that you get to create and that story you get to tell in that environment. I love stage. I mean, I started on stage, it, I trained on stage. Um, there's something really special about the theater and I, I love to be there. Um, I had such a great time with Once. Once was a really unique experience because it, it fused so many things together that I love to do, from acting, to singing, to playing the violin, to moving on stage with your fellow actors in, in, a, in a real space. It needed to feel very, um, very natural and never contrived. That was the, the one of the most interesting things to me about the show once is that there there wasn't anything that was contrived because as soon as you went to that place suddenly the whole experience was was lost and so you had to be very attentive to being just a neutral palette and to let things happen to you, with you, from you, through you every every night with the show. Um, so absolutely I would love to be back on stage um, Broadway's a really interesting, interesting place to be. It's, uh, there's not really many experiences in life that compare to performing on Broadway. Um, absolutely would love to be there again. I grew up, I cut my teeth on all the Rodgers and Hammersteins, all the classic shows, and I adore Carousel and My Fair Lady and uh, you, you know all these really just this core of what we know to be musical theater but I'm so intrigued by where musical theater is going now with this fusion of different elements of art and bringing um, bringing stories to life in ways that the audience can experience them in a, in a new and unique fresh kind of way so I think the shows I would probably be most attracted to moving forward would be those types of shows that really embrace this newness, this freshness, this unique perspective of storytelling and audience connectivity. So the film I'm currently starring in with um, George Blagden and Robbie Kay, both tremendous UK actors um, and some really just top-notch American actors as well, is called No Postage Necessary. And it is a, it's a dramedy, romantic comedy with a splash of espionage. It's kind of just, it's a fun piece that fuses together um, real life happenings um, in a backdrop of, of a story where you have two characters who in some ways are, are stuck and are trying to redefine and remember their own lives and who they are in their world. And this, the film captures this glimpse of a moment in time of these two people coming together and, and being there for each other in this discovery, in this remembrance, and then the ability for them to step up and take the next steps. Um, it's been quite a, quite a ride. I've uh, loved every single minute of it. Um, 
So my character in the film, her name is Josie, and she is actually a young war widow whose husband was killed, he was a Marine, and he was killed in Afghanistan about six years prior to where we see her in the film. And they have a young daughter, a five-year-old daughter, whom her husband never got to meet. And so she's stuck in this kind of grieving process where she just can't seem to to break out of that, yet she's trying to do her best for her daughter and still function in the world as as she, not even as she once knew, because she's actually forgotten who she was in a lot of ways. She's She's been disconnected from that because of that intensity of grief. And uh, so it was a lot of fun to explore her, to f- explore those themes and those elements. I mean, it was a very, uh, it was a deep exploration. It wasn't something that you could approach with much levity, but I found I had to bring lightness to my space because, well, just like in a canvas, in a, in a painting, we always see the bright colors, we always see what's in the foreground, but really what makes those bright colors so special and unique are the shadows, are the is the darkness, the depth of color, and so being able to explore Josie's painting in a lot of ways was a, um, a really unique exploration. So those who know me well know I have always wanted to do a Bollywood film, (laughs) Um, which sounds so wonderfully, fantastically silly and perfect all rolled into one. Um, I've always been attracted to Indian culture. There's just something so alive and vibrant and fresh about the way that they communicate stories and it's not something that we, you know, you get to see much here in the States of that type of storytelling. And so the fusion of music, the fusion of dance, the fusion of just this vibrancy of life, I'd really love to do. <laughs> so if, uh, if there's any Bollywood Indian producers who need a fair skinned strawberry blonde, you know who to call. <laughs> I would also love to continue to work in the UK because there's something really special I've found with UK actors. There's just a uh, a different approach to craft that is incredibly rewarding on set and actually affords so much freedom as an actor to be able to explore with your fellow actor in a very truthful place. And I mean, I think having the opportunity to work with UK actors, it's absolutely changed my paradigm and perspective on how the different styles of of approach to acting. I mean, you have uh, worked with tremendous people, people from Juilliard who just can sit there and listen all day and they're fantastic at that. You have your method people who you just kind of get in this vortex of whatever methodology they're creating in that moment. But it seems as though, um, through experience and extended conversation, that the UK acting perspective is kind of an amalgamation of a lot of these different types of um, realness in every moment. From you have that strong technical preparation all the way through to this just, let's just feel it. Let's, what is it that's going to naturally happen? Because that's where the beauty, that's where the excitement, that's where the, the truth of the story really lies. So. Um, I'd love to pop across the pond and <laughs> and play around over there too. Actually, I'm working on another album right now. I'm working with a six-time Grammy Award winner Brent Mayer out of Nashville, and he has produced and engineered everyone from Elvis to Tina Turner to Garth Brooks. I mean, so he's he's very well established, and he has such a Um, a depth of musical knowledge and an incredible ear so this past year I've been working on um, working on my next album with him it's sort of a Americana fusion type of album that's a very pared down approach um, very acoustically driven I would almost liken it to a Nora Jones meets Ava Cassidy sort of feel and and, and, in space um, with We've got tremendous songwriters um, on the on the tracks as well, or just 
ridiculously talented and and the stories that they've told and, and that we've been able to tell um, I've had the opportunity to, to co-write co several of the songs on the tracks as well there's just a um, it's just like this um, realness that keeps coming through in, in the tracks and so I'm really excited about that and actually some of the tracks will be featured in No Postage Necessary too which is very cool so I'm very excited about that but that'll be releasing later this year I think people who have a tendency to chase greatness really inspire me. And when I say greatness, I don't necessarily mean, I don't mean fame, fortune, and glory. I mean truth, integrity, and, and, and artistry. So people, every, um, it was funny, I was watching a YouTube video uh, this morning on uh, Dame uh, Judi Dench. And there's just this realness that she always she always brings, she always embodies, and um, I really appreciate that. You see that both in her, her interviews as well as her work. I mean, there's just so many actors who do, who do that, who live that, who really communicate that in their in their work. But I also appreciate people who make these things happen. Um, you know, for instance, director Terrence Malick is just has this really interesting way that he approaches a story and. He doesn't apologize for it. Um, he owns who he is and how he communicates and what he feels led to communicate. And um, that's inspiring. So for me, it's, it's really just about people who, who know what they want to say and find the gumption to be able to do so. So actors I would love to work with, I would love to work with Aiden Turner, Gary Oldman, Angelina Jolie, I think she's brilliant, brilliant. Um, and of course, George Bogdan again, because he's just darling. <laughs> I think every experience in life creates an opportunity for us to reevaluate ourselves, who we are, what we do, and what the heck we're doing here. <laughs> and this past experience with working on No Postage Necessary absolutely showed me that, showed me things about myself that I didn't realize as an artist, um, things about myself as a person that have unlocked new avenues within me and so I'm just so thankful for every opportunity I have to create and I think something that always lights my fire is when I see p other people who are in the middle of creating who also embrace that gratitude because it is it's such a special it's a special opportunity and it's a unique opportunity and not one to be taken lightly and um, I have so much love and respect for the entire cast and crew of No Postage Necessary because there was not a single day where I did not see people uplifting each other in ways where they saw, oh, here my, you know, my, my comrade is down, let's pick him up a little bit. And even if it was something as simple as a smile or as, as um, significant as, as, as a physical help, as a physical boost, I mean, it was... Um, that really touched me deeply and so because of that I just um, I'm thankful for every experience that I have because I know I see and I realize how much it shapes me and possibly in some small way the world around me thank you so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you back here at the fan carpet see ya Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.